going to switch gears for a moment and repo talk man. about a new front <laughs> in the battle atop the world of autonomous vehicles. This one could affect uh, how you get your breakfast one day soon. So listen up. Uh, Phil LeBeau joins us right now with more on that story. Phil. Andrew, this is a deal that's been announced between Postmates and uh, the uh, delivery of autonomous teleoperation vehicle uh, firm uh, Phantom Auto. And here's what's going on. Postmates is partnering with Phantom Auto as Postmates continues to test what are known as autonomous delivery bots, vehicles, whatever term you want to use. This is uh, some video of those Postmates uh, bots. Uh, they're already testing this in Los Angeles. So here's the deal between Postmates and Phantom Auto. It basically works like this. Teleoperation is where you've got uh, drivers or pilots who can remotely monitor and control these delivery vehicles, these autonomous delivery vehicles, in case they run into a problem with traffic, on a sidewalk, whatever it might be, that they can then take control. And they can be thousands of miles away from those delivery vehicles. Now, we first profiled Phantom Auto when the company started up back in 2017, early in 2018. Uh, this is a company that is working with logistics firms, trucking firms, autonomous vehicle companies. You saw somebody there. That's another example right there where there is a driver, a pilot, whatever term you want to use, who is at a cockpit. Basically, they have a 360-degree view of the vehicle so that they can immediately step in and be engaged. The reason this is important, Andrew, as we see more delivery firms, whether it's Postmates or other firms looking to get into autonomous vehicles and autonomous delivery, regulators are going to say, we need to know there's some way for you to take control of that vehicle. You just can't have it out there in case it runs into a problem and it's stuck or, God forbid, there's some kind of a collision with a pedestrian or another vehicle. They want to know that there is some way for somebody to get engaged. So that's what Postmates and Phantom Auto are doing. I have a totally separate question, which is there's got to be a lot of value on these trucks, right? These big trucks. What would happen if they, these... On these, the big trucks, yeah. Yeah, well, we were just showing an image of well, a big truck. Well, we saw, truck. like, a, the little... Well, the little yeah. guy, the little, but then we also yeah. saw these big ones with the, with the over... Mm -hmm. I would just think that there would be a risk that, that uh, there would be, like, pirates... Trucking, pi trucking pirates, yeah. To, to hack into these well, well, trucks. Yeah. Well, the, well, let's talk this through, Andrew. Theoretically, if you've got a way of monitoring that vehicle at all times, and let's say there is a trucking pirate at some point in the future with an autonomous semi who takes control of it on I-70 in Kansas, you know immediately. So you can notify the local sheriffs, the highway patrol, whoever it might be, and say, hey, these guys took control of this, uh, this semi this is like, do you that's remember, going down I-70. Do you remember the movie Speed? Do you remember the movie no, Speed? Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, yes. I mean, are, are you saying your concern is that there's somebody would have nefarious ideas oh, yes. about what they're going to do with these vehicles? Well, th that could be with anything. That could be with an autonomous, with an autonomous car. So, so then, you, then you get to the question of, should we even allow autonomous vehicles at all? Look, well, the, the train has left the station in that regard. <laughs> you guys know that this is coming.